Hey guys, it's me, Kim Song, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News, a series I do every Saturday that covers this week's FNAF news. Also, before we start, I want to say thank you for all the latest support on my shorts, because they've been blowing up. I got like 100, 200 subscribers in like two days, which is amazing. If guys like this video, please like and subscribe, but we have a lot of news to cover today, so let's just start off with the mods. So YouTube has released concept art for an upcoming plusy of the Mimic, releasing in early 2025. So we are finally getting some Mimic mods. I've been waiting for a long time. I love the Mimic. The Mimic is such a cool character, but finally we are getting stuff for uh, them. Uh, but it's going to be coming out early 2025, so probably January and stuff like that. But are you guys excited about Mimic actually getting stuff? Tell me in the comments below. We also got our first exclusive first look at the Monty prototype uh, Hex Plus, which looks pretty cool. He looks pretty, looks pretty banging. He looks, uh, he looks really nice. He just looks very clean. I like the glasses. I like the guitar and everything like that. It's just a overall good looking plusy. I like uh, Glamrock uh, Chica way more though. She's, she's just very cute looking. But Monty's also coming and he looks pretty good, which is awesome to know because, uh, X pluses are normally very, like, the quality is very awesome. They look very good and stuff like that. So, I'm always excited when we get new Hex pluses. Darko, you can always send me some. That's not going to happen, but I really want to get some of those one day. We also got some news from Funko. So, it's been a while since we actually got some Funko news. So, Funko will reportedly release pop figures of the Withered Animatronics and Mangle in Spring 2025. So, I don't think, actually, the Withered Animatronics got pop figures of them. So... This is pretty interesting. I don't collect pop figures, so I could be wrong about that. But we're getting Withered Freddy, Withered Bonnie, Withered Chica, Withered Foxy, and for some reason, Mangle. So, we got full Withered Animatronics, and this gonna throw in Mangle. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do, like, Golden Freddy or something like that. Like, Withered Golden Freddy. But it's okay. Everybody likes Mangle. I think they're cute, so that's awesome. We got more pop stuff coming out, but it's coming out in Spring 2025. So, we gotta wait a while. But it's going to be very awesome. And finally, for the last Mort news, we got some YouTube's news. So YouTube has seemingly teased a new Spring Trap figure based on the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 Whale Screen. So if you know the Whale Screen, uh, Spring Trap kind of whipping his face out of the mask, basically. Uh, that's what the pop figure is based off of, which is a very cool concept. We used to do more of these little Easter egg Whale Screens, uh, figurines and stuff like that. Because they're very cool, you know, very Autistic and stuff like that. So it's amazing. It's very awesome that YouTube is actually doing this We don't got any new information about when it's coming out, but we just know it's teased for something upcoming So that was all the more news not a lot But way better than last week because we had nothing last week So we actually got some book news. We got some big book news So the five nights at Freddy's the week before and Fazbear Fright's graphic novel collection volume 5 has officially been released So if you've been looking for the week before or the graphic novel, they are now available now I know uh, the week before some people got an oldie actually i know some people on twitter did and kind of awesome so how many guys like to like the book uh, i know it's about phone guys so it's very interesting i did see some teasers and leaks about it so it's actually a pretty interesting book and it gives us it gives us some answers to some stuff in the original fnaf game which is awesome and the graphic novel for the fazbear fights is now available so if you like the very terrifying stories of the fazbear fight series you can now Get a graphic novel of it so you can see it in pictures and stuff like that. So it's it's very cool. And we now have the release date for Five Nights at Freddy's Escape the Pizza Plex has moved up its release date from May 6, 2025 to April 1st, 2025. Which is kind of funny because April 1st, you know, it's a holiday, April 4th, and stuff like that. But uh, it, the release date got moved up. I guess they needed to do some changes and stuff like that, which is fine by me. You know, don't wash a product out. Always make sure it's a okay, everything is perfect about it. So, you know, your people, your fans, and actually love it. So, in this, uh, Escape the Pizza Plex, you actually play as Casey, and most of the people are thinking, do we play, is this in the past or in the future, like in Ruin? We don't know, and that's the most interesting thing about this. I'm pretty sure these books are canon, maybe not into the pins, and, but these ones seem like they're pretty much canon books. So, I'm very interested. I love Casey's, uh, Casey, however you pronounce her name. I am, I'm pretty sure I'm saying her name wrong, but... I love her as a character. She's very interesting, and I hope she didn't die at the end of Ruin. But this is going to give us more of her in this book, which is going to be really awesome, because I really like the character. I really like the security wage and onwards characters, because they have so much personality, you know? I really like that, about the, the finally adding personality in FNAF, because for a long time, FNAF was just jump scale and not a lot of talking. You know? The only personality we had was Phone Guy. So this is... I, I honestly love these books that are giving some... Already existing lore into um, 
the IPs that we have. But that was all for the book news. So we got two new books coming. Actually, one new book and two books that are already out as of now. Now let's get off of the game news. So we got some fan game news. And one of these things is not here, but I'm going to cover it because it's something big. Because it's not one of the fan boss games because, you know... Johnny Blocks and Link covers that. But I'm gonna cover another game that's gonna be very awesome. So we got our first look at the Stone the Quill and Pop Goes Evergreen. You can get a 4K wallpaper on Game Jolt. There's sorts of Pop Goes Evergreen and you can get a wallpaper. So he's outside. I only played Nights 1 and 2 of the original Pop Goes because I honestly thought the game was garbage. I don't like the game. No offense to uh, Kane, but I just don't like the game. It's pretty bad. But this is the remake of Pop Goes. It's called a Pop Goes Evergreen. So awesome i hope it's good i really hope it's good and not bad because it's kind of disappointing uh, if it's not the greatest thing ever you know but yeah and also we got some new gameplay footage of the living room level in the joy of crazy and featuring a new jump scale from ignited foxy so if you played the demo like i did of joy of crazy and it was pretty cool but it was very you know one one level basically of the game the full game but now we're finally getting some other clips of like living room level and stuff like that so pretty scary i love the jump scale it's always as in intense as always from uh nixon it's just a very good jump scale and stuff like that it's a very good atmosphere game the animations are always very heavy but it's the people like about that i think mark plus says something about that they love, like the animations are very like intense for some reason which is pretty funny and also we got some final final news of the today's video and that's going to be a game that's coming out next month october and that's Graveyard Shift at 40. So apparently, the game is actually pretty much done. That it's going to make the trailer. And they're going to be releasing the game uh, mid-October next month. Which is perfect for this uh, Halloween season. Because this game is probably the scariest FNAF fan game ever. Like, it's so terrifying. And I plan on playing it on the channel. So if you guys want to see me play that and get scared, I suggest subscribing and liking this video. And press the notification bell so you know when my next video is up. But guys, that's all the news we have for this week. So a lot of merch news, some book news, and some fan game news. So pretty intense. It's not as crazy as last week when we got the Secrets of the Mimic stuff like that. But it's very awesome. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. It means a lot if you do, and it helps me grow as a. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, so more people can see my content and subscribe, and you know, help me out, make us big one day. So it, I much I I appreciate it a lot. So I'll see you guys next time, and if you guys like my videos, go check out some of my other videos.